what led to the decision about submitting your name for the NBA draft? Uh, just the conversation with you know the coaching staff and my family. Um, and, you know, just blessed to be able to have the opportunity. Uh, you know, the, the NBA allows you know us, us young guys to be able to go and you know into the draft, get some feedback, see you know where we are, and uh, you know make the deciding choice whether or not we want to go or not. Was it an easy decision for you to submit your name, considering where you are in your career here, and and that it's not like an official decision? You can still come back here and play. Yeah, uh, that that made it that much easier, uh, you know, to to be able to have that option, um, and, and be able to weigh your options. Yeah, it made it that much easier. Did the way you played through the tournament make this decision any more likely than it might have been going into it? Um, I think so. Uh, you know, just uh, I was definitely happy. You know how how we. I uh, had that run during the tournament, uh, not only for me, but for my team as well. Um, you know, and I think that definitely put eyes on individual players. Um, but, you know, with, with team success comes individual success, you know, so just happy that we was able to make that run and, and you know, be able to have this opportunity now. You mentioned some of those conversations with your family and coaches. What were the conversations like with your family as you were contemplating this big decision? Uh, you know, just really simple, really simple, uh, you know, just seeing if, if, if it was something that I would be interested in doing, uh, which it definitely is, um, you know, and, and just seeing where, where I'm at right now. What would it take for you to, to make the decision to leave? Is there a certain cutoff point from where you were projected to go? Um, no, nah, right now, you know, we're just kind of taking it step by step. Um, you know, that's, this was the first step, uh, you know, to make the decision to go in there. And uh, right now, you know, we just focus on continuing to get better, uh, train, and, you know, make, make, make that decision when time comes. Have you heard any feedback yet on what scouts or GMs are saying about you? And if you have, what have those conversations been like? Uh, yeah, not, I mean, I haven't really talked to too many people um, about, you know, where they're pro where I'm projected or anything like that. Um, like I said, you know, this was the first step to put my name uh, in the draft to uh, allow everyone to know, you know, that I'm interested on making that next step. How supportive was Coach Martin through very, this process? Very. Uh, he was much help, much help. Uh, you know, he's, he's a great guy. Um, and, you know, he definitely handled this. This whole thing, like like a son, you know, like like I'm one of his sons. Uh, you know, he he has my best interest in mind, and I know that. You know, that's why I, I have the most faith and, and trust in him. In terms of the process, what are the next few weeks going to be like? We know the combine's coming up, uh, I believe around May 9th. So the next few weeks, what's kind of your itinerary? What will you be working on to get ready for that combine? Uh, just training, just training. You know, building my body, uh, training. You know, building my skill set. Uh, everything, anything possible to to make me a better basketball player. You know, that's that's definitely what we have in mind. When you came in, did you have an expectation of two years and done, or have a, an idea in mind of what you might want to do? Nah, nah. You know, I came in. You know, just ready to enjoy college. You know, ready to enjoy the the collegiate uh, sport. You know, and and try to take advantage of it, make the best of it, you know. And I'm, I've, thus far, you know, I've been enjoying, enjoy, enjoying South Carolina, enjoying my team, my coaching staff, uh, you know. And it's just, it's just a joy playing with these guys. PJ, is your training going to stay locally in Columbia? Are you going to stay at school? Are you going somewhere? Um, not really sure yet. Not really sure. I haven't really talked too much about it. You know, like I said, this was the first, first step. And uh, you know we're gonna take take small steps, step by step. What do you hope to learn about yourself throughout this process as you continue to weigh your options? Um, first and foremost, I, I guess get some information, um, you know, from from other people uh, uh, as of where I stand to make the, the next decision. Um, but you know, just try to continue to build my game. You know, see see where I would fit. You know, at, at that next level. What excites you about the potential of becoming a pro? Just that, just that. You know, saying that alone, you know, get, gets me excited. Gets gets me going. Uh, you know, and I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to work. What was your family's reaction when you told them? Because I know throughout this whole process, they want it to be your decision. They try not to influence. Right. So when you finally said, "Guys, I want to do this," what was that reaction like? Uh, they were they was excited. You know, they was you know you sure you sure you they they definitely leave it up to me, uh, which is a great thing about my my family and the supporters that I have. You know, they leave everything up to me. Um, but you know, they was excited. Probably probably more excited than I was. Have you talked with any agents yet? Or are you planning to, just in case that does become the decision for you? Um, no, nah, not really. Um, I mean, I haven't really spoken to too many people. You know, the, the people that my family and coach has spoken to, you know, we kind of just, you know, keeping that, you know, to ourselves. But, um, you know, I haven't, haven't really had too many conversations. What do you think you stack up against the other guys, you know, going pro? This is a tough process. So many kids like yourself are trying to go to that next level. A lot of kids declare early. So where do you think you stack up amongst some of your peers? 
Um, I think I think I have a great shot. You know, um, personally, you know, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Um, you know, and playing for Coach Frank, you know, it will definitely get you prepared for making decisions like this. Uh, get you prepared for the next level. And um, you know, he's been doing a great job with me in, in terms of that. What What parts of the last two years here do you feel like have improved your game the most? Um, just confidence. Confidence. Uh, you know, the first year wasn't wasn't great. Um, you know, but I, I definitely took that experience and tried to build up, build off of it. And uh, coming into my sophomore season, uh, it helped a lot.